please welcome Rich Collins from Synopsis. Thank you. All right, so today I'm uh, in our brief session here, we're just gonna cover uh, a little bit, touch on some of the things that we're doing Synopsis-wide uh, around RISC V in terms of IP as well as uh, EDA and enablement for, uh, for RISC V based SOCs. So if you look at uh, the sort of bigger picture of kind of the markets or the, the different application segments that uh, you know, we all uh, play in, there's lots of change that's happening. Whether you're talking data center, whether you're talking um, AR, government, aerospace, automotive, certainly. And what we're seeing <coughs> in this trend that's been happening for a number of years is that the demand for smart everything, so adding intelligence to effectively any application space or any of the SOCs in those, in those spaces is increasing dramatically. And a lot of it is being driven by the fusion of big data, um, massive compute, and of course AI machine learning. And so all of this uh, obviously needs to be addressed by both the semiconductor hardware as well as software advances to be able to handle that. So if you look at the bigger picture of what Synopsys is doing as far as RISC-V, um, we have a set of tools that are optimizing quality of results and increasing productivity, whether we're talking about our quick start implementation kits, um, our Imperis offerings, the, the, the newly acquired Imperis offerings. Um, we have early ex architectural exploration with our ASIP tools that I'll talk a little bit more about, where you can optimize your hardware software development together. We have um, acceleration for software development using emulation, um, as well as um, uh, development boards. And then we have our broad portfolio of IP. Um, in particular, we have our ARC-5 processor portfolio that we launched in, uh, in November of last year at the RISC-V Summit in California. So the ACIP tool, um, this has been around for a number of years. Basically, it serves a couple of purposes. One, you can use the tool to actually develop your own specific custom processor or your custom accelerator. Um, but it also can be used to do early architectural exploration. So you have full architectural flexibility. It will automatically generate the SDK, uh, synthesizable RTL, as well as the debug uh, infrastructure that you need to develop. Um, and it's integrated with all the Synopsys reference design flows. Um, this product has been enhanced over the last couple of years to also add some RISC-V models. Um, so you have 32 and 64-bit ISA models that will allow you to build a baseline RISC-V processor and then, of course, you can extend that um, beyond that to, to build out your own custom solution. The ARC-5 portfolio uh, that we announced in, in November, it's basically built around three families of processors. Uh, the RMX series is uh, uh, small embedded cores, typically for low power, uh, small area kinds of applications you would see in uh, maybe automotive body electronics, small IoT types of devices, things like that. Um, we have a, uh, both the RISC-V as well as optional DSP extensions that are available for that. Again, when you look at IoT devices that need things like uh, gesture recognition, face detection, basic DSP capability, we've built that into these cores. The middle family there is the RHX series, and these are uh, a series of real-time processors. These are 32-bit real-time processors, but dual issue, 10-stage uh, pipeline cores that can scale from single core up to 16 cores. Um, we've also built hardware virtualization support in here so that you can run um, mixed criticality, for instance, in an automotive setting, or you can uh, partition those cores so that you could run a certain uh, subset of those cores running with an MMU to run Linux, say, and then the other sub subset of the cores could run an RTOS, maybe in a computational storage application or things like that. And then we have our RPX series, which is 64-bit uh, cores, typically targeted host applications, more what you would expect for um, cores that run Linux distribution, like Ubuntu and Debian Linux, um, sort of higher end um, um, apps cores, if you will. We have our common tool chain that we call Metaware that exists for all of our ARC processors, uh, is also supported for all of the ARC 5 cores, and that includes compiler debugger, uh, instruction uh, cycle accurate as well as uh, cycle approximate simulators, as well as libraries for DSP, machine learning, and whatnot. They're all part of that package. 
And of course, um, since automotive is an important aspect of what we do, um, we have ISO 26262 uh, compliant versions of, of all of our cores. So we meet both systematic and random uh, compliance requirements there. And we're also extending support for ISO 21434 uh, automotive cybersecurity standards as well. <clears throat> so um, part of the portfolio that came with the Imperis acquisition is a, a, a set of models called fast processor models. And these basically are um, when you have your basic RISC-V base model as well as the sort of optional configs that are defined as part of the standard, as well as user extensions, so custom instructions and CSRs that want to be added, that can all be supported basically in this fast processor model uh, from the Amparis team. It serves two purposes. It can be used for software development with virtual prototyping, so this is effectively for any RISC-V adopter in, in the market. And then it can also be used for those that want to develop their own uh, RISC-V processors. So you, you have to verify those processors if you're going to develop that yourself. And these models can also be available for that. So it is a, a nice solution because you have the hardware and software verification that can use the same and leverage the same model. So emulation and prototyping, um, these per se are not necessarily new as far as Synopsys product portfolio. We have our HAPS prototyping solution um, as a, an exercise to sort of validate the usefulness of this in a RISC-V setting. Um, we were able to basically take a high performance quad-core uh, RISC-V solution and basically uh, sort of use that with the Verity tools and basically validate the prototyping solution on HAPS. Same with Zebu emulation. Uh, the emulation boxes are pretty, pretty well suited for, for any uh, solution, but certainly RISC-V based uh, SOCs that can reach up to fairly complex levels of, um, you know, of, of um, gate counts and, and performance in the, in the emulation. <clears throat> we also have our uh, EDA side of the house, basically. Um, we have our, our AI enhanced uh, design space optimization tools that are also well suited for RISC-V uh, based development. And so, again, as a, as a use case, a case study, uh, we took that design optimization on a, a, a fairly large um, RISC-V based core that was really kind of a data center uh, performance level. <coughs> so fairly large core, a five nanometer process, and then tried to analyze kind of what that would look like as far as using sort of standard tools and standard optimization methods, and then uh, layering on top of that the DSO.AI solution to see where we got. And so um, you can see here the base uh, targets for 1.95 gig on the performance, about 30 milliwatt uh, uh, power target. And then with using sort of an out of the box synopsis RISC-V uh, flow, we were able to achieve that, that power benefit, but you can see from a performance perspective, it wasn't quite there. And then by leveraging the DSO.AI toolset, which is effectively automating the whole flow. So what would normally take you know, two engineers a month to do this optimization with the tool can effectively be done, uh, you know, automated with, uh, with effectively no supervision by, by a human. And then you can see the results there, uh, achieving the, the desired performance target as well as the, the power targets that we had set out for ourselves. All right, so basically overall, um, one of the things that we promote with the ARC-5 portfolio is that we are leveraging all the different aspects of Synopsys in order to build out higher quality products so we can leverage these tools um, ourselves as well as you know, for anybody in the industry that wants to, to leverage them. Um, from custom core design and architectural exploration with our ASIP tools, um, early software development and, and architecture design with virtual prototyping, hybrid prototypes, hybrid emulation tools. Uh, certainly design services is, are available through, through Synopsys. Um, simulation, debug, and hardware assisted verification um, using the Zebu uh, boxes, as well as uh, tools to drive next level PPA, optimized PPA, as well as silicon lifecycle management. That's another area that's uh, a fairly up and coming uh, new area within Synopsys is uh, silicon lifecycle management tools. 
And then of course our, our portfolio, the Silicon Proven Interface IP, as well as the ARC-5, uh, RISC-V compliant processors that we've now launched. All right, so that is basically, in a nutshell, kind of the whirlwind of what we're doing around RISC-V at Synopsys. Uh, our booth is right here on the other side of this wall, so feel free to come by and, and talk to us there, and we can give you certainly a lot more detail on any of the aspects of this, uh, this portfolio. All right. Thanks, Rich. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions?